what is up Virgo welcome to your October mid-month reading so this will be for Sun Moon Rising Venus Virgo hope y'all are doing well all right let's see what's coming in for Virgo mid-October there'll be an extended uh, there'll be a link at the bottom to the extended reading that'll be in the description box and pinned in the comment section if you're interested all right, let's see what's coming in for Virgo for the rest of October. Coming into the reading, you've got the Five of Swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. The way I do my readings is I like to lay the cards out and then tell the story, clarify. Cards can have a lot of different meanings, so if we rush into the energy and describing the cards, it may be the wrong story. What's the influence? You've got a King of Cups in reverse, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. What's on your mind at Virgo? Six of Cups in reverse. What happened in the recent past? You've got the Ace of Pentacles, Earth Energy. What's in the foundation? So the reason for the reading, you've got a Two of Coins in reverse, more of your Earth Energy. Coming into the near future, what you experience, the Six of Swords in reverse. How do you see yourself right now? The Six of Wands in reverse. In your environment, what's coming in? You've got the World in the upright, Major Arcana. Pull you down. What's going on in your feels and your emotions? You've got the Ten of Coins. And what's your outcome, Virgo? What you got? The Two of Swords. All right. Let's see what's going on. All right. You might be getting tired of some sort of instability. You might be going through a breakup or you might be deciding to drop someone. Maybe they juggled you or maybe you're just going back and forth, either you or them, right, on a decision whether there is a future and stability, that two of pentacles in reverse, that's why everything's happening. So needing to drop a pentacle. For some of you, you are budgeting for the rest of October. You may feel like you're spending a lot, so watch your money. It's all happening because of this five of swords. So this is coming into the reading. Maybe somebody's been playing some mind games with you. Could be this king of cups in reverse. Could be a water sign, it doesn't have to be, but... King Cups in reverse is typically somebody who's just emotionally unavailable. They may be telling you at some point that they were available, but with that King of Cups in reverse, their emotions are a little bit unstable. They might even be a, a little bit manipulative. On your mind, Six of Cups in reverse, so there's that water energy. So think it back to the past, but not good memories of the past with that Six of Cups in reverse. So I do get, if this is a newer person or a newer connection, Either it's recently happen happened or it's coming in. You may be having some sort of negative memories of a past situation and afraid of that, right? So you're going to stand in your power with this. All right, let's check it. So coming in for Virgo, we've got the Five of Swords. What's this about? And the Page of Wands. Fire, Leo Sag Aries. What's this Page of Wands about for Virgo? Seven of Wands. Yeah, so messaging you, but their, their um, energy could be a little bit immature. Keep in mind, it doesn't have to be love. It could be anybody. But that page of wands is sending, you know, those messages that come through, whether it's, you know, text, phone calls, emails, whatever this is. But he's delivering some sort of news. You're defending yourself. You might even have that energy, Virgo, of keep out. There's somebody here that I don't think you want to talk to is what this looks like. You're dropping this person. You might have even moved on to somebody new. Who's this king of cups in reverse? And the Eight of Swords. Somebody that kept you tied and bound. And it's all happening because of the Two of Coins in reverse. Why is this here? Five of Wands. Again, more fire. Leo Sag Aries. So breaking up with somebody that's caused a lot of conflict, some drama. They keep you stuck. You've been stuck with this person because they refuse to grow up. Is what it looks like. What's on your mind? Six of Cups in reverse. Why is this here? And the Hierophant, Taurus energy. Some of you were married to this person. Who's this Hierophant or in a long-term relationship? The Nine of Wands in reverse. My guard is up. I've been, you know, going a little, little crazy with that Nine of Wands. Push through. But when it's in reverse, it's like I just give up. I'm too tired. I'm too guarded to deal with this energy. If it's new, just make sure that you don't get caught in your past, right? Give me one card of overall energy for this person. Who is this? The star. Sign of Aquarius. So it could be an Aquarius. I'm getting two storylines, Virgo. If this is a new connection, if you're if you're starting to talk to someone new or somebody's starting to reach out, I don't feel they're bad. I feel that your energy. Just be careful you don't um, self sabotage. If I could talk, self sabotage with that Five of Swords due to conflict and drama from your past. 
it, like it's kind of that energy of I don't want to deal with this person and that's fine you have free will you don't want to deal with them don't deal with them but I'm just saying you know there could be some sort of hope that could be restored here with the star some of you are still healing and so you need to take a time out if this is somebody you already know they're pretty immature I think they've kept you tied and bound they've either been manipulative or emotionally closed off why is the ace of pentacles here in the past the high priestess Pisces why the Ace of Pentacles with the High Priestess in reverse for Virgo? What is this? And the King of Swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Typically Aquarius, it could be anybody, somebody that was detached, cold. Maybe you cut this person off after something was revealed. Whatever was revealed could have been anything. A secret came out or perhaps they just revealed it came out to you, right? That they weren't what you thought they were. Or what's this Ace of Coins in the past for y'all? The te uh, Temperance in reverse. Sign of Sagittarius. They may came back. They may have come back around, or somebody was you were dealing with somebody here, and they promised you potential with that Ace of Pentacles. But there's a lack of cooperation. It made you a little bit um, unstable. Your emotions imbalanced because they weren't willing to cooperate. So coming into the near future, Six of Swords in reverse with the Fool, Aries energy. They're going to want a new beginning, but that fool can also be a little bit of that Peter Pan syndrome, so you have to be careful. Again, kind of with the Page of Wands, the fool, very much energy of somebody who's just like, let's just let's just do it. Let's take a risk. But he's a traveler in the deck, either physically or metaphorically. He doesn't always want a long-term commitment. It's somebody that just makes a decision on the whim, right? But it's definitely somebody that you've already connected with. Doesn't mean it has to be a full-blown ex or that you're in a relationship. But there's, there's energy shared here. How do you see yourself right now? Six of Wands in reverse and the Page of Pentacles. What's the Six of Wands in reverse with the Page of Pentacles for Virgo? Two of Swords. So ignoring somebody. I think that you kind of just want to be friends with this person at this point. You may even view them as a little bit boring or bland. Or at least the communication that comes in from this person. If it's new, you're kind of like, eh, you're not really feeling it. You don't see success here with somebody so again keep in mind could be somebody that's into you that you're not into them or it's somebody you've already connected with and you just kind of get you're kind of giving up on this person I think the new person there could be potential but you just may not be feeling it and that's fine you don't have to accept everybody that comes into your life in your environment what's coming in that you don't see you've got the world and the strength card sign of Leo What's that about? Why is the world here with the strength card coming in for Virgo? And the Wheel of Fortune. So two, three major arcana. So something big. Universe is trying to get your attention here. Some sort of lesson, fate, karma. With the strength card, I think they're telling you to hold back on an energy here. And I think you will. Whether it's new, somebody's got a crush on you. Maybe you've, you've even gone out with them a couple times or you may. But the, the universe is trying to tell you, learn some sort of lesson here. Also, end old ways, right? Like, don't accept this person into your life if you feel, and I, and I get the sense that they're going to remind you of somebody from the past. And if it is somebody you've already connected with, they're saying hold back, remain strong, change is coming. But there's some sort of lesson here. Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, there's a King of Pentacles coming in too. Somebody that's more committed. It'll be down the road, probably November. So, you got a lesson coming don't we all all right so because in your emotions you're feeling the ten of pentacles i think a lot of you are focused on your success within your career your money you're going for the long game right end game ten of pentacles commitment like you're this is very kind of f boy thirsty girl energy and i think you're just blocking it what's this ten of pentacles yeah the death card so you've got completing of a cycle with that Ten of Pentacles, but it's going towards success, a lot of good money, your future. You're very focused on your career, which is good. And I think a lot of you might have kind of had some expenses, and so you're struggling a little bit with that. So your focus is to end old ways, spending pat, you know, spending or whatever you've done. You're, you're about to get more serious with your money and be focused on that. So changing your ways, changing the way that you spend the money, Maybe changing, you know, going, uh, starting to save more, invest, that kind of thing. As far as relationships go, though, you're ending, you know, just this kind of in and out energy. The Ace of Wands, you want something new. You do have a King of Pentacles coming in. Could be a Taurus. Could be anybody. If it's not an Earth sign, it's somebody who's just very career oriented, very stable. 
king of pentacles typically wants to be in a relationship offer something long term very slow grounded nurturing um, but it's definitely long term but it's going to be a little while you got to get through this merc first uh let's take a look at the outcome you've got the two of swords what's this about and the ace of cups yeah new love all right so you'll have a decision to make you may feel a little blocked I think you're going to ignore a couple of people here because you're you're focused on something new. What's this Ace of Cups? What's this Ace of Cups? Or a new component of a relationship. And the Two of Pentacles, again, another decision kind of going back and forth. I think that this is also, too, Virgo, you really balancing your life, like career, love, family, friends. Because that Two of Pentacles doesn't always have to be a juggler. The Two of Pentacles can certainly talk about having to, you know, regain balance in your life. Tell us more about the Two of Pentacles. Yeah, see, the Two of Cups. Look at all the twos, decisions and choices. Yeah, you've got a very strong connection here. I think it's with an earth sign or they will have earth in their chart. Some of you, this person's already in your life. You had a rough patch in the past, but now there's going to be, uh, be more stability and long term with this person. But for others of you, and you'll know, you'll know how this resonates. This person is just immature and you're just, you're blocking them out for this new energy. There's definitely either a resurgence, like a healing of an energy or a brand new energy coming in. You definitely have love around you. I feel like it gets, it gets more serious, your love life more stable um, going into November. And then in between all of that, you've got somebody here that you're just not that into. You're kind of friend zoning one person. Tell me more about the fool. Yeah, see, Eight of Cups, you'll walk from this energy. It's like you got to go through this before Daddy with a Pentacle shows up, is what this feels like to me. You have a couple people interested in you too, Virgo. I want to see why you guys have felt stuck here on this King of Cups in reverse. Somebody that just was not emotionally available. This Eight of Swords. Yeah, Five of Swords, it hurt, right? They might have mind effed you in the past. I don't think that this, um, for some of you, that's what this King of Pentacles is, like they're growing up a little bit. But I think for the majority of you, this is someone new. Somebody's definitely grown up. I think that's for like 10% of you, that kind of immature, um, full energy because you're walking. You're like, nope, I'm not doing that again. So down the road, heading towards November, they're going to grow up a little bit. They've kept you trapped. It's been very stuck. Very um, That Eight of Swords can be very frustrating energy as well. But keep in mind, too, in between all of that, you've got like this kind of young energy around you. Somebody's like crushing or, you know, wants to take you out or is flirting, something like that. You're like, no, I just see you as the Page of Pentacles and the Two of Swords. This is, again, that can be a friendship. That can be, you know, somebody that you just kind of see as boring and mundane. With that Two of Swords, you'll block them out. Because there is definitely an energy here you don't see as successful. You definitely have had a failed relationship here in the past with somebody that's showing up mid-October. Let's take a look at this Two of Cups. What's this about? Yep, Empress, there's now growth and expansion in your love life. You've got Libra energy there, Major Arcana with the Empress. So a big change. Somebody's either done a complete change, which, I mean, we don't see often. You know, they're immature. They weren't giving you what you want. They kept you stuck and frustrated. And then, boom, they're bringing something. The universe is like, all right, it's time for the wheel to turn. It's time, it's time for karma to play out. And they turn into that King of Pentacles. But I think for the majority of you, um, it's a new connection and uh, you're going to have to kick somebody out too with that Page of Pentacles. Who is this Page of Pentacles? Who is this Page of Pentacles? Your money uh, is also important for the rest of October, so make sure that you're not spending more than you're saving. It's just easier said than done. Page of Pentacles, yeah, see, you just don't see a future. Three of Pentacles in reverse. You're not on the same page with this person, and you could certainly work with somebody here that's got their eye on you, but you're not feeling it. Three of Pentacles in reverse. I don't want to collaborate. We're good. Let's just keep it at that Page of Pentacles level. But here comes the uh, King of Pentacles. I just looked at the bottom of the deck. On that King of Pentacles, you've got a Ten of Cups. So definitely planning for the future, commitment, marriage, family, all that kind of good stuff. That's what this kind of this energy is going to want with you and I think you have your sights on that as well. November looks really good. I think the rest of October is just weeding them out. It's kissing a couple frogs, Virgo. In the extended reading, we're going to take a look at that Two of Cups and the Empress and see where that is headed. All right, Virgo, 
Love you hard. Love me hard back. And we'll speak soon. Take care.